Hey guys, welcome to Grace Ministry. Sorry, it's been a few days. I know Tuesday I had to put Lola down. Her cancer came back for a third time in her blood, in her mouth. She was nine. Uh, yesterday I brought her home. We had her cremated. They put a little paw print. We got her paw. We got her home. She's home. So we've been going through a lot and just having a really hard time so forgive me for not posting daily continually as I was originally just struggling this week through the holidays but good day and welcome guys I just want to tell you how good God is even through all this welcome to Grace Ministries USA please give us a thumbs up if you got something from God's word today if if God's word adds value to your life in any way, because this devotional today rocked my world. It rocked my world. It's from Psalms and it crushed me. And you're going to find out why as we get into it, because it's so powerful. And if we add value to your life in any way, guys, please subscribe to hear some more words from God. He's got a lot to say. His words are powerful and mighty. And in the right context, they can change things. They can move things. They can shift things. They can break things. They can change the entire atmosphere. I can go in somewhere and pray and shift the entire atmosphere because God is real and he is with us next to us. We don't see Wi-Fi. We don't see electricity, but we believe in that. Why don't we believe in God? Because the enemy is out to steal, kill, and destroy Guys, here at Grace, we aim to be your devotional series, y'all. We want to be that spiritual compass for all believers. I don't care who you are, where you're from, what color you are, your race, your creed, your religion. I do not care. All are welcome. If you're a human, if your blood is red, you're welcome here. Welcome. Trying to find a moment, y'all, for reflection and connection with our faith can seem daunting. And at times, equally rewarding and essential because when we go down a devotional journey into a series that's designed for those who crave a deeper understanding, that's how we change things. You want to change things in your life? Pick up the Bible, man. Things will change in ways that you can't even imagine. My entire life has changed. My career, my location, my vehicle, my dogs, my entire life, y'all. If you want that relationship with the divine in, in, in life's daily challenges and struggles that we find ourselves in, slow down. We got to get away from these 10, 15 second TikTok videos and slow down. There's too much coming at us all the time. And that is intentionally to confuse and deluge, man. We got to slow down. We got to get some, some grounding, some stability in God's word. Today's devotional. The steps of a man, y'all, are established by the Lord when he delights in his way. Though he should fall. He shall not be cast headlong, for the Lord upholds his hands. Psalm 37, verse 23 and 24. I truly believe this is my life verse because I feel this way constantly. Guilt, shame, condemnation, put down, rejected, detected, deflected, all the nonsense. It's hurtful, y'all. I love this verse because it says God's in control. And no matter how many times you've been looking at your walk with Christ, and think that you're a failure, and I do all the time, constantly. As a matter of fact, many times I look at the things that I do, and I am left dumbfounded, literally like, what? What? I recently made a really stupid decision. I was just excited and caught up in the moment, and man, how stupid because of all the crap coming at us. we got to slow down. We think that we aren't good enough. Or that we need to do more. I was trying to get mine. No. We don't read our Bible as much as someone else. Or we don't pray enough. We are unfaithful to God. We get inside our head. We let the enemy in. We let the wrong missiles incoming and impact. We got to catch those before they hit the target and shift the direction. 
The reality is that we are right. We do fall short, y'all. We don't do enough. We don't. We can do so much more. I can do so much more. We don't do everything that we could. I know in my life personally, just personally speaking for myself, this has confused me, dumbfounded, left me repeatedly. I've seen sin after sin plague my life. Drugs, porn, lying, like all this crap. And that sin is gloriously defined by God when we put God in our life when we put God first another seems to take its place y'all when we put God first God will take the place of that sin I'm constantly and daily failing but y'all check it out we got to realize something we have to realize that we are not alone no we are not but yes yes we do fail but we are not alone yes we fail Yes, we are not good enough. Yes, we are unfaithful to God. But you know what? God is faithful to us, y'all. Oh, my goodness. Let me say that again for the slow people in the back of the room. God is faithful to us. Oh, my God. Thank you. We don't even need to include the last two words. It would be enough to simply say, God is faithful. And this is what I mean about words and how powerful. God is faithful. Let that sink in. That, my friends, is the point of grace. That's the point of grace. God saves us while we were still sinning in the mess, in the heartache, in the pain, in the loss, in the struggle, in the confusion, in the shame, in the guilt, in the resentment, in the anger, in the fear. God's with us. Oh, God, he's trying to make us more like him. Our life's not meant for us. This is not to say that we don't have to try. As this passage tells us, when our steps are established by the Lord, he will catch us. We're going to make mistakes. We are dumb sheep who fall in the hole over and over and over and over. But you know what? God will not allow us to fall. He will not allow us to fall away from him. Y'all, he upholds us with his mighty hand. He lifts us up. He's not pushing us down. We do not hold him up, y'all. He holds us up. And here's the best thing of it all. It doesn't even matter how much we mess up. You got me? Because God is faithful. And because God holds us up, we are forgiven, y'all. Let that sink in. Let that sink in. We are forgiven. And not only are we forgiven, but God is active through the Holy Spirit to grow us towards him and away from the sin that bounds us. You feel that tug, that pull? There's a reason why you feel bad when you sin. God doesn't want that for your life. There's a better way, y'all. He gives us the power to resist sin and gives us the freedom to live for him. Yeah, baby, for him. This week, let's change the atmosphere. Let's shift some things. Look at your life. Look at the times that you've fallen and let the reality of God's hand pulling you back in to his arms, sink into that brain of yours and your heart and give you hope and joy in this difficult season that you find yourself in let me say that again y'all god's hand pulling you back into his arms sink into your heart and give you hope and joy he's with you he's in it he's for you so am i you're welcome here no matter who you are smash that like button give us a subscribe stay tuned for future words from Jesus Christ, the creator of the universe, my personal Lord and Savior. Again, all are welcome here. It does not matter who you are, where you're from, what you believe. You are welcome and Grace Ministries USA. God bless you and
welcome stick around for some future daily devotionals because i get fired up to tell people about jesus and what he's doing in my life because it's nothing short of miraculous it's supernatural he's changed everything i hit my knees i prayed and i didn't think he was gonna do anything i gotta tell you but the things he's done in my life are unbelievable <laughs> I want that for everybody. I wish they knew what I knew, and that's my goal is to tell as many people as I can. Please help us. Please, God bless you. Give us a like. Give us a subscribe if you got some value. And if not, don't worry about it, yo. We don't want no freebies, no handouts. We're trying to tell people all about Jesus, period. Thank you for stopping by. <laughs>